The analytical engine has no pretensions to originate anything. It can do whatever we know how to order it to perform. It can follow analysis, but it has no power of anticipating any analytical relations or truths. The analytical engine weaves algebraical patterns just as the jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves. Mathematical science shows what is. It is the language of unseen relations between things. But to use and apply that language, we must be able fully to appreciate, to feel, to seize the unseen, the unconscious. The more I study, the more insatiable do I feel my genius for it to be. The science of operations, as derived from mathematics more especially, is a science of itself, and has its own abstract truth and value. The intellectual, the moral, the religious seem to me all naturally bound up and interlinked together in one great and harmonious whole. I am now going to try to set down on paper all the thoughts which have been passing through my mind while making acquaintance with Mr. Babbage's machine. That brain of mine is something more than merely mortal, as time will show. The engine might compose elaborate and scientific pieces of music of any degree of complexity or extent. The enchanting charms of this sublime science reveal themselves in all their beauty only to those who have the courage to go deeply into it. Imagination is the discovering faculty, preeminently. It is that which penetrates into the unseen worlds around us, the worlds of science. The errors which arise from the absence of facts are far more numerous and more durable than those which result from unsound reasoning respecting true data. The most important object of this paper is to insist upon the fact that, in reasoning from the mere structure of the engine, we are not necessarily confined to any particular sort of calculation, but that, whatever the process of calculation, we are still bound by the laws of mechanism and the same general principles. Religion to me is science, and science is religion. The first essential in the true grandeur of these days is that we should so live and labor for mankind that, if we were suddenly to be deprived of the power of communicating with or influencing our fellowmen, we should still have something to declare which would carry the weight of conviction. What we now call school training, the pursuit of fixed studies at stated hours under the constant guidance of a teacher, I could scarcely be said to have enjoyed. That many very remarkable and beneficial results must have ensued from the early cultivation of the human mind is obvious, from the striking proofs which remain of what the Greeks achieved before the dawn of literature. The analytical engine has no pretensions to rank as a thing in itself. It is valuable only as it may lead to something valuable. We may say most aptly that the analytical engine weaves algebraic patterns just as the jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves. The time may not be too remote when it will be competent for men to create children, whose eyes shall behold the light, but who shall never draw the breath of life.